and we're live. All right, I guess is, is can cannibal like they could be he could find a dead guy and eat him. It doesn't mean he killed someone, right? Well, that's a good point. You just eat. Yeah, like, but nobody just, wants like human roadkill. I mean, if we don't know the mind of this maniac. I, I like to imagine up. my father's not a maniac. He's one of those like thoughtful <laughs> cannibals. Right? He's a gourmet like, cannibal. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he's just like like maybe, a Hannibal Lecter. Well, sure, okay. <laughs> Without the murder, and or, no, maybe Hannibal Lecter like, is about who he Yeah, what if you're like a really health conscious uh, cannibal? <laughs> I only <laughs> eat healthy people. Yeah, you only hang Ooh. out outside CrossFit meets. <laughs> That's the next thing. The Santa Clarita diet, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I've scrolled past that. I've never watched it, though. I've seen it. I think a few it's seasons. something like that. Is it Health f- Conscious Cannibals? Is it good? Or no, not really. Mm. I haven't watched it. Oh, I can I recommend it. a movie if you want a movie. Well, yeah, it's it, not about being health conscious. Is it spooky? No. It's about a killer pair of jeans. Okay. What is it's it called? It's on Shutter. It's called Slacks. Uh, <laughs> it's literally about a killer pair of jeans. And I thought it was amazing because it was mostly just about, it just made me feel dirty as a person because it was all about like how stuff is manufactured overseas to no standards. And there's like dead people that get smushed into the cotton and then woven into the fibers. And they like take a giant shit on retail and corporate culture. It's like watching a giant RoboCop commercial, like with all those old Paul Verhoeven ads. This is the oh, exact kind shit. of stupid horror that I like. And I, I, I still have Shudder. Like I don't, I should have like stopped paying for Shutter November of last year because they <laughs> they, you know, they don't put anything out or if they do, it's just like rehosted nonsense that's already available yeah. everywhere else. But this is probably the only time of year it's good. Oh wait, you've got drugs, right? Uh, so do that and mm-hmm. watch Blood Machines. Also very fun. Blood Machines. I'll I'll do drugs and watch Blood Machines if it looks good. Let's see. <laughs> oh, there's a lady. What is it? Her tits are out. In the, yeah, in the it's like a. It's like a uh, Spacey sort of uh, satanic music video that goes on for about an hour. Lots of naked women, people dying, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, so Brand it's not like a movie, high. like a video. no. It's like an hour long music video, but it's fantastic when you're high. You'll just lay there and be like, oh, "I'm in space." <laughs> I'll give that a go. So, like, the most recent one like that I can think of is uh, Mandy was trippy. Stone. Ooh, Mandy's great. We watched Mandy yep. in Colorado um, last it's week. It's a good movie. It's really good. Nicholas Cage, there's something about that guy, like the the way he doesn't care that he's not doing a good job, it, it endears me to him. But he, he has done a good job before. Leaving Las Vegas, he played that tremendously. He did a great job. I think job. he often does his version of a good job. Like like I think he's trying. It's that what he's trying to do is very different than what you're expecting. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's just being weird. I think he's like got a goal, like a point to like his acting. I think there's a method to the madness, and it just comes off as really weird because it is because he's yeah. really weird. There um, was there was this I, whole... I like Mandy a lot, and like I'm not exactly sure the name. It's either Willie's Wonderland or Wally's yeah, Wonderland. Willie's, yeah, I Five liked that. I, I think it got, it got really bad ratings, and to be fair, it's a really bad movie. Um, I hated the teenagers. Like like all those characters were terrible actors. Nicholas Cage never says a word the entire movie. He grunts a little occasionally, but I don't know if like a little ninety minute silly movie. It was good. I enjoyed it. I was he fighting animatronics book. with his bare hands. Taylor, do you think Nicholas Cage did good in Mandy, or did he phone it in in Mandy? I mean, I think he did a good job. Maybe it's the maybe it's me enjoying the movie bleeding over into saying thinking he did a better job, but no, it. Watching him do Mandy, I never jumped out. That's the one where he's like in the bathroom, like chugging screaming. vodka, t- screaming. Like I thought he did a pretty good job in that movie. Yeah. Did you not was, like him in that? No, I thought he did great. That was the only movie where it looked like the camera operator got nervous. Like you can see them like panning in, and Nicholas starts wilding out. And you can see them kind of like shake and like maybe move it back a little bit to be safe mm-hmm. from him. And that I don't know what he's going to really do. Well, what yeah. what? yeah, yeah. I've heard this spoken about before. Um, they weren't afraid of him. Because he's Nicolas Cage, that's a little that's pretty scary, but for different <laughs> reasons. But they didn't know what he was going to do, so they didn't know how to frame the shot. And he's being really dynamic, like he's moving around and he's standing up and sitting down and he's being crazy with that bottle and screaming and shit. So like they literally don't know how to frame the shot because mm-hmm. it's not like storyboarded. There was just someone just wrote on a piece of paper, Nicholas has a bad time in the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, just and then he just goes there and has a bad time in the bathroom. No, I dig that movie a lot. It's better with drugs, for sure. Um, dark room, lots of drugs. 
and uh, it's a really good fucking movie. I don't like the first half. That part's really kind of hard to swallow. The trippy stuff at the end is way more fun, in my opinion. I like the full trip. I like the I like the stuff <sighs> at the beginning. I feel like it's really soothing. Um, I like, the I very think, beginning. The whole the whole thing, man. When they're flying over those trees at the very beginning with the helicopter shots. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, talking about I the like horrible when Manson walking family. Down that fo- when Manny's walking down that foggy like path. Um, when she's talking about their, we were talking about their favorite planets and they're like getting these mm-hmm. psychedelic sort of visuals. All that shit's cool. I'm in total agreement. Uh, if you like that, I know films from the same director that does similar things. So, oh yeah, I think I was looking into like what else he had done, and it was. Weird. What are some good ones you'd recommend from that guy? Uh, Beyond the Black Rainbow. It is way more artsy than Mandy, with way less spoken words. It's going to feel a little bit more like a college art film, but it's probably a much better movie. And he also did some consulting on a movie called The Void, which is oh like yeah, I love boring. The Void. I've seen The Void. I like that. The first forty-five minutes is not so hot, but man, that end goes so far off the fucking rails. It yeah. redeems all the rest of it. Yeah, I love anything that's um, uh, what's the fucking writer, the the Cthulhu guy, uh, Lovecraft. Lovecraftian. Lovecraft. I love yeah. anything with like any Lovecraftian elements. So uh, I, I I really like The Void. Um, that that's that's fucking cool. I wish they would make. I mean, I guess they've already made multiple, but like, was it Sinister or Insidious, the one where they're watching those tapes of yeah. people die? Whichever one of those two it was. They, I get them mixed up as like, well. They made like three of them. But I think you're talking about the one with the Bagul. I think so. The, the one where like he watches the like the beginning of the movie is like all the people strung up, like hanged. Yep. And then uh-huh. like the guy cuts off the limb on the tree and it like counterweights it. And then they all go up like kicking and like dying in slow motion. Yeah. And they see lots of horrific videos that really spooked me. I liked that movie a lot. So I hope they make I, I could see it's like a rinse and repeat kind of thing with that formula. They could make another one. I like they, they did. They made several of them. Um, I, I, like I mean, the first on one. top of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, like I haven't seen a good horror movie in a while. Um, we watched a bunch of old shit um, when we were in Colorado, like a lot of old shit. I watched a bunch Love of old the, stuff, um, like Friday the Thirteenth and uh, Halloween's, and uh, actually a couple of uh, Nightmare on Elm, Elm Streets that I had never seen before, like a bunch of that old stuff. And um, Andy Man, Hellraiser. Oh, and I watched Samurai Hellraiser. Cop for the first time ever. Oh that God, was fucking great! You recommended that. Yeah, I haven't watched time, it yet. Big time. Don't do it sober. Don't do oh, it sober. Not an issue. But uh, watch. Watch Samurai Cop if you're out there listening to this. I think I think I actually watched it for free with ads. This is a movie like I didn't mind ads because like the th- in the like 45 second ad break we we like look at each other like what are we watching? Like what the <laughs> fuck is this? It's cool. Yeah, that's purportedly you know I haven't seen it but I'll watch it. It's really bad. But it's this fun. is the the time of year every year that I rewatch the thing for like the millionth time. That's got to mm-hmm. be. Like one of my top three favorite movies of any genre, the thing. It's just it's, so good. I it's love really it. high up there for me too. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a formula formula that's been copied a bunch of times over. They even made an X Files episode that was like a copy mm-hmm. of you know st- the the paranoia of mm-hmm. being stuck up there and not knowing friend from foe after a certain point, and uh, the like group a, a, keeps getting smaller and smaller. And the the the, the whole paranoia thing is really interesting. That uh, you know, it's it, are, they're worried about the monster that's outside, but maybe the monster within, right? It's kind of like those old, old Twilight Zone episodes to some extent, but it's really good. Um, it's jo- it's John Carpenter's best movie, I think, because I hate better than Big Trouble else. in yeah. Little China. Yeah, that's a movie he made. Um, it's pro- <laughs> I, I like it. it. I don't love it. It's it, it would be in my top five from John Carpenter, but mm-hmm. um. Uh, I, I, I like Escape from New York. I hate Escape from L.A. I'm not going to rank yes. all the movies. Uh, Red Letter Media just did a thing where they ranked all I literally all just movies. watched all of that. Um, really fucking but good. Now, The Thing is probably the most universally recognized as his best work. It's very, as the Red Letter Media guys say, it's a perfectly constructed film. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Um, Kurt Russell makes the movie, though. Uh, he's my favorite part of it. Um, it's fucking great. It it would make a good video game, I think. Did they ever make a thing video game? Uh, they did. It was not very good. It came mm-hmm. out like very early into PlayStation 2 when they hadn't figured out like how first-person controls should work. So navigating your character was kind of like an N64 nightmare on a PlayStation controller. And it had this thing where you could test people to see if they were the thing. 
except it didn't actually work because whoever the thing was was part of the story, so that part stunk. There's a prequel, it's all right, but the, the, if you're into The Thing, there's a short story. I think it's like a fan fiction, but it's written from the point of view of The Thing. Super fun to read. Mm, interesting. Yeah. And it is like, like it's, is Skinwalker, is that the right thing? Like, like a, or Wendigo, like some, some like spirit that takes over and like looks like people. It's, there, there's, it's like an alien that like, if, if you get like just a little bit of it on you or in you, It'll start multiplying. It'll copy your DNA and take all of you over, but it retains all of its old information and knowledge. So you're dead. It's replaced you. <clears> and it can instantly split and morph into any of tens of thousands of other aliens that it's eaten over the centuries or aeons or whatever. You didn't see the part at the beginning where like the alien spaceship crash crashes into Antarctica? No, no, yes. I was I, I wasn't talking about the thing specifically. I was meaning like oh. how those movies like like if you read like paranormal forums and stuff, they're always talking like skinwalkers, like creatures oh. that become people and then they infiltrate groups and so it's like uh. it's I wouldn't call it a trope, but it's like Oh, a, I can't remember who like it is, but there's a famous musician who believes in skinwalkers. And uh, he was telling a story on Howard Stern. I wish I could remember who it was because it's like a notable musician who you'd be like, oh, yeah, that guy. But he said that he watched w one like mid transformation changing from Into like, what? I can't remember exactly what it was, but like it was something absurd, of course, you know, like from a man into like a wolf or something. So a werewolf, maybe. <laughs> or, 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 you know, into an ostrich, whatever the fuck he saw. I, I, I can't recall exactly what it was, but like. I feel like that would drive me fucking crazy. I'd lose my mind if I saw something like that. Well, Drive faster. <laughs> I don't know if this is just... You've says, seen some stuff that I would already think I'd lost my mind. Like, you're seeing dark people and shadow realms and and, and demons and... I've never seen the realm, just the wow. people. Just He's just been close to the portal. <laughs> <laughs>